Hello, I am at the Barn Taz. It's an inner city converted old barn. It's probably about 200 years old. It used to be a livestock barn for the original house just here. We're right in the heart of old Hobart town, about 10 minute walk from the, the heart of the CBD. It's definitely a tiny urban space. I can't wait to show you around. dark, it's moody, it's textural, it's innovative on space and it's won a stack of architectural awards and it's on Airbnb so you can actually come and stay here yourself. Fun fact, I'm from Hobart and I came to look at this place when it was for sale in like 2008 I think. I actually came here, I brought my mum as well and it was just an old derelict barn, it was crazy. I have a feeling it's definitely heritage listed and they've, they've done the least possible to this place, if that makes sense. Like it's luxurious, it's contemporary, but it's been done in a way that preserves the history of the building. If you look up, you can see all the shingles on the roof. Ridgy Didge, original stuff. It's an amazing place, really excited. I came here, I wanted to buy this place. Wasn't in a position to, still not in a position to. And everyone can come and stay here, so, you know. I didn't get to buy this place, but I'm here now, I know. So, very classic design, rectangle with a steep pitch roof. Is that called a pitch roof or a gable roof? The one that goes like this. You notice this bright zincaloom finished roof exterior, which has been placed over the top of this original roofing structure. And I imagine on the other side of this, it's filled with insulation, but they've put this big industrial roof over the top and have locked in all of this original design. I believe this is the original barn door as well. It's kind of crumbling and it's a little bit rotten in some places. So you come in, you have a little sitting nook with television, not that I use that. Now, I must just say, fit out, architecture, design, Amazing. Amenities and styling is also right up there. Really interesting pieces. For example, this workbench here, it's actually just three pieces of wood on a trestle. It just looks really cool. There's a chair right here that's made of carpet. There's a mannequin man as a bedside table. Just a really interesting mix. So you've got this beautiful little sitting area. Next to this is your bathroom. Beautiful, it's dark. It's moody, you've got the original timber, and I can actually recall that this is where the little pens were. Pen for the sheep, the pen for the horse, the pen for the what have you. So it's got these walls, and it looks like they've kept them, and they've put this new timber up above it as well, so you can see the old and the new. Along the, the southern wall of the property, there are little breathing holes in the sandstone. They've put like a clear perspex over each of those so that you can see through. They let in a little bit of light, and it's just a, a cool feature because it's so, so bloody old. It just looks great. The heart and soul of the lower floor is the lounge area. It's got a cathedral ceiling. They opted not to have anything on the landing above so that you could get that sense of height. You've got a beautiful galley kitchen. It's on the small side, but this is a small property. Lovely bespoke furniture. Dining table, big enough for, you know, four or five people. The windows have been boxed and framed out and they just look very architectural. There's the most amazing door at the back of the property which pivots from about a foot out from the edge of the frame. It just opens right up, feels weightless as you open it. Looks amazing when it's open and it's an incredible feature of the property. The master bedroom. So you come up this beautiful staircase. Again, you can feel the sandstone on your way up. Everything's very raw and very original. It's quite spacious when you get up here. You've got this beautiful queen size bed with really deluxe linens. You've also got this amazing skylight which opens right up so you can let the breeze through, lets in a huge amount of light. And when you're up here and you're just laying in bed, just 
It just looks and feels amazing. The lighting in the property is really good, been very well thought out. You've got heaps of storage space right here. And just around the corner, you have this landing area which they've turned into a work zone. It's been an absolute treat to come here. This place has been on my radar long before I had the concept about getting into hotels or wanting to review properties to stay. So this is a special one. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Yeah, I'll leave the link in the description for where you can book this place. See you next time.